Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brett, creator of The Style Shaker, and I'm back with another episode of Face Off where I will be testing two products against each other. Today it is the Jane Iredale Glow Time BB Cream against the Jane Iredale Dream Tint Tinted Moisturizer. So if you wanna see how these perform and which product is best for her skin type versus another skin type and all the rest of that fun stuff, then stick around and let's get into it. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, Check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. All right, first up, I'm gonna to talk to you about the Dream Tint Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 15, 41 bucks, six shades available in this guy. Here's a quick rundown. The main benefits of this are that it is a hydrating tinted moisturizer, it smooths out the skin, prevents water loss, helps minimize pores and fine lines, oil-free, and it calms and soothes the skin. It's also water resistant for up to 40 minutes. So that's the rundown here. Let's talk about the glow time, shall we? Okay, I think we shall. This is $48 and it either has an SPF of 25 or 17, depending on the shade that you actually get. There are 10 shades available. Main benefits here are that it smooths and brightens the skin. It minimizes the appearance of pores and helps disguise fine lines and wrinkles. Non-commodogenic, dermatologist and allergy tested. And this guy is also water resistant up to 40 minutes. So that's the difference between these two in terms of like what they say in the product pages. In terms of the dream tint, this one's all about sheer, sheer, sheer coverage. You're not looking for a lot of coverage. You're not even looking for medium coverage. You're just going for sheer, lightweight, tinted moisturizer coverage. It's all about hydrating the skin. This is this like one and done natural, just need a nice light layer of moisture and get out the door. It doesn't have too many shades. The Glow Time has a few more shades available, but this one does have a price. So there's that. And it also doesn't win on SPF, so it's not winning on those few things. But again, lighter weight, easy peasy. It smells really nice too. So I'm gonna show you the two of these swatched on my hand actually. So you'll get a close up of the texture and the coverage. Before I get into that, I'll tell you a little bit about why you'd want the Glow Time. It's really more coverage. I think it provides definitely, Glow Time is gonna offer more coverage than the Dream Tint period, end of sentence, done. It will sit a little bit differently. The Dream Tint absorbs really well into the skin. The glow Time, and you'll see this when I swatch it, it sort of sits on top. I didn't personally like that, but it does offer way more coverage and it's still pretty lightweight. This brightens as well as blurs. It also mentions how it blurs, but honestly, I didn't feel like it blurred much. I feel like it just really brightened and covered. If you have sensitive skin and if you're looking for something that's non-commodogenic, this is the one that says it in the product description. The Dream Tint does not say that. It's still really great in terms of ingredients. Both of these guys are. The Glow Time has dimethicone. Some people freak out about that. It was fine for me, but just so you know, I checked both ingredients and they're doing okay in terms of what I look for. I will put details below on that. This is better for sensitive skin, I would say. If you also need a higher shade range and you want bigger SPF in something that you use as a foundation or a BB cream like this, then this is gonna be the better option of the two. And that's that's kind of the main difference. I mean, it's really about coverage, SPF, and then I would say sensitivity with the non-commodogenic option on the Glow Time. Now, here's what I think at the end of the day, I really liked the Dream Tint. I use it with foundation sometimes. Sometimes I'll use it alone, just kind of depends on the season. I just like how it applies and absorbs into the skin. Glow Time, I like, I'm just not in love with it, and I will put the separate reviews for each of these below so you can just check out the full deal. This again doesn't absorb as well into the skin and it sits on top. So now's the time when I wanna show you what what it looks like on my hand. So you'll see the glow time, which is kind of towards the top of the hand, and then the dream tint is swatched on the bottom of the hand. So you can see as they rub in kind of thickness, the Dream Tint is a little bit more whipped of a feeling. Glow Time is a little bit more rich, a little silkier, a little smoother. It just is a little thicker. And when the two are on the hand after all of the just blending in and having it soak in, it can see really clearly how the Glow Time, it does provide that coverage, but it sits on top a little bit. So some people are okay with that. That's not what I want. I want something to disappear into the skin, but I think that's also why it provides a little bit more coverage. And it's a little less about diffusing the Dream Tint absorbs really well into the skin, it brightens, it doesn't cover as well, and it doesn't have a lot of diffusing activity on there, but it does diffuse just a little oh, bit. And the other thing I do with Glow Time, like sometimes if I have a sunburn, or I don't know, if I'm going out and I'm wearing a V-neck, this is actually a really great cover-up for different areas on the body because it's really light and it's not 
thick and it's not tacky so you can wear clothing over it. So that was just a random thing that I discovered after having a sunburn, I think, wherever I was. I don't know where I was. I think I was like in Florida. I had this v-neck black top on and I just put a little bit, like a pea-sized amount of the glow time, rubbed it in and it was whoosh. Perfectly evened out, even skin tone, much brighter, happier. So I know that's not the main point of why you would buy glow time, but that happens to be how I use it now. The dream tint I just use as a moisturizer if I want to every day. It's usually more of a summer moisturizer for me. Um, in the winter, I need something a little bit thicker and I have combination skin, just so you know. Okay, that's pretty much it. So now you know which product is better for what, and then you can figure out where to spend your money, honey. Oh, um, That's the point of the face off. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for watching. All my current subscribers, my style shaker squad. Mwah, love y'all. I cannot wait until I get to hang out with you next time. Until then, bye.